for joining. Today we're going to read Neville Goddard's The Power of Awareness, Chapter 14, The Effortless Way. The principle of least action governs everything in physics, from the path of a planet to the path of a pulse of light. Least action is the minimum of energy multiplied by the minimum of time. Therefore, in moving from your present state to the state desired, you must use the minimum amount of energy and take the shortest possible time. Your journey from one state of consciousness to another is a psychological one. So, to make the journey, you must employ the psychological equivalent of least action. And the psychological equivalent is mere assumption. The day you fully realize the power of assumption, you discover that it works in complete conformity with this principle. It works by means of attention minus effort. Thus, with least action, through an assumption, you hurry without haste and reach your goal without effort. Because creation is finished, what you desire already exists. It is excluded from view because you can only see the contents of your own consciousness. It is the function of an assumption to call back the excluded view and restore full vision. It is not the world, but your assumptions that change. An assumption brings the invisible into sight. It is nothing more nor less than seeing with the eye of God, i.e. imagination. For the Lord seeth not as a man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. The heart is the primary organ of sense. <laughs> is it? Jesus, is it? The heart is a primary organ of sense, hence the first cause of experience. When you look on the heart, you are looking at your assumptions. Assumptions determine your experience. Watch your assumption with all the diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Watch your assumptions with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Assumptions have the power of objective realization, not subjective, objective fact, objective, well, <laughs> objective, objective reality, well, yeah. Assumptions have the power of objective realization. Every event in the visible world is the result of an assumption or idea in the unseen world. The present moment is all important, for it is only in the present moment that our assumptions can be controlled. The future must become the present. In your mind, if you were to wisely operate the law of assumption, the future becomes the present when you imagine that you already are what you will be when your assumption is fulfilled. Be still, least action, and know that you already are that which you desire to be. The end of longing should be being. Translate your dream into being. Perpetual construction of future states without the consciousness of already 
being them. That is, picturing your desire without actually assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled is the fallacy and mirage of mankind. It's the human condition. It's not your fault. I've said it before. Dr. Hugh Len speaks deeply about it. Your ancestors went through it. The shit rolls downwards, right? One way of looking at it, but it's not your fault. It's part of the it's part of what we came here to be, I think. To help clean that up. Clean it up within yourself and within, therefore, your ancestors, within others. But ultimately, it dates back, right? Thousands of years, who knows, right? Dr. David Hawkins, right? Like the attractor feels. If you're angry or raging or whatever it is, whatever it is. I don't know why you're watching these videos, but this is a co-creative venture, isn't it? That's why I'm doing this. So I'm offering you what I see, my, my angle, my perception. I, I'm no idiot, but I don't have all the answers and I doubt that I ever will, you know what I mean? Except for, you know, when we all come together with the answers, right? But listen, my point is, Perpetual construction of future states without consciousness of already being them. That is, picturing your desire without actually assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Is the fallacy and mirage of mankind. The human condition. We chose this life. We chose to come into this life and part of that process, part of that package deal, if you will, that we wanted to subscribe to does involve being asleep. We came into it sleeping. That's our process. It's why we're here. We're in a process of awakening. Perhaps, you know, there's there's some people that are kind of chuckling like, ah, yes, Obi-Wan once thought as you do. And meanwhile, there's other people like, huh, what did he say? He's, he's talking over my head. <clears throat> We're all in our own place on the path, right? But part of this whole process of life and why we came here has been to awaken, right? From the mirage, from the lies, from the fallacy, from the old scripting, whatever. The ego reverse engineered that and what it is is <clears throat> it's a fallacy of mankind the human condition is one where we see delusions a mirage shit, right shit that's not actually there right we're in a desert thirsty right and we see we sit down oh yeah hey look oh, oh. Like an oasis right drinking sand right it's a mirage, right? Human condition. We were born into it. Mankind's delusion is perpetual construction of future states. The regular, continuing, almost effortless, it just takes on a momentum all its own. The perpetual construction, the building of future states, states of consciousness, states of being, here now, on this earth plane, now, you watching the freaking video, the plastic, the device, the screen, right, right, the perpetual construction of future states of being, of your life, of tomorrow, for you, and for me, and for the world, your world, the fallacy, the lie, the delusion of the human condition of mankind is the constant, never-ending, perpetual construction of future states without, here's the key point, without 
consciously being aware, consciously already being them, of knowing all creation is finished. It's not here, we don't see its presence visibly, right? So in our visible senses, it appears to not be here. But the great lie and delusion of mankind is consistently building the future without consciously, without our attention being upon the fact that it already is. The fact that the fact that those future states already are happening now. That is, picturing your desire without assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So the lie and delusion of mankind, the human condition, not your fault, that you've been asleep, right? Not your fault that you've been kidding yourself or have been taught the wrong way of things, right? Not your fault. You chose it. You willed it. The point is, no blame. No blame. No blame. But you are responsible. You're not at fault. But you are responsible. And now, with focused attention, you can move forward and actually get what you want. Right? Dig this shit. So, reverse engineered, it is the lie that we've all agreed to be born into in this process of awakening and learning the truth and being responsible it is the lie that we've chosen that's appropriate it is the lie to perpetually construct because now you know so now now we must How, what did Neville say now you must he had like the dream about the pig, right? Remember the baby pig? Now that he knows that he's got to feed the pig, feed baby Jesus. Baby Jesus is a pig. Morpheus, chapter 9, right? Listen. Because he has to feed that, and he know, now knows that he feeds that, and he has to feed that, to now know that would be an absolute sin not to. He agreed to not know about it for a while. He agreed to, you know, to, to not know about the, 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 the pig needing to be fed. I mean, you know, even if you're sleeping through it, right? Even though, but that's, it, it's the human condition to be like that until you awaken, right? Until you know. You want to rise in consciousness. You want to expand your awareness. Part of that involves... Preparing your place, chapter nine, Morpheus. But 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 part of it involves being able to hold on to that, to integrate the knowledge, to have the circuitry that can, you know, to have the hardware that can handle the software, so to speak. You know what I mean? To take the upgrade, to take the update, to handle it, and to integrate that into the rest of your systems, into the rest of your life. Right. So basically. It is the fallacy and mirage of mankind to perpetually construct future states without the consciousness of already being them. So it would be fallacy and a lie and, and, and to, to continue to build, believe in that, perpetually, perpetual construction, but you're not. We're aware, we become aware each in his own time. We become aware so the perpetual construction of future states without consciousness of already being them. I think it is man's um, process of attaining that awareness, right? But it's a fallacy to perpetually go without the awareness. You're constantly in that mirage constantly asleep, constantly believing a lie, constantly believing narrow-minded, false perceptions, limitations. 
like looking through a pinhole. A black and white pinhole. That looks like a house of mirrors. Everything's all warped and distorted at random. Depending on what random state you happen to be in or allowing yourself to be put in. Because, right, if you're loose, right, if we're not focused, then we're the, we're the, we're the, what's happening is, is, is on account of other people's assumptions, right, that are actually sticking. Because we're not focused enough to direct our own reality, our own 3D world isn't strong enough. We don't have enough attentive force directed consciously as God in our world that says, nope, I'm on it. And so being half asleep just lets other people kind of, fucking, you know, determine for us what life is. All the psychos, all the, all the, all the, whatever your struggles are, <laughs> you know, you're here. We're all different. We're all God's chillin, right? That is picturing your desire without assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled is the fallacy it is simply futile daydreaming <laughs>